conferencing applications. This is one that kind of takes the look and feel of our modular system. And on the left, you have your zone select. And on the second column to the left, you have your source select, depending on what zone you're in. There's audio control as well, but they just made it so, so simple. This is actually interfacing with Polycom. We have uh, one-way drivers, uh, one-way modules, I should say, for uh, the Polycom HDX products. And uh, there was another one or two models that we support as well with IP control. Here's a system that uh, also took the look of our modular system, but uh, did things a little differently. And we like to show this one because they dropped the module in to a custom project and it's a full bi-directional module. You still are able to drag and drop and have that feedback come in and so uh, in a full bi-directional instant manner since it's all over the network. Here's a really nice um, interface that was used in a large video matrixing system for a bar restaurant up in Alaska, in fact. They had a video wall being controlled they, uh, and they had four additional zones. And you see right there, you could kind of break up the wall and control the source all within one page. And of course, because you could bring in any PNG image you'd like, you get a nice uh, graphic of that client logo and it almost connect as digital signage, couldn't it? Speaking of which, this customer really uh, took that idea to the next level. They went to the website of their client and grabbed images from the website, from the menu PDF, and designed the graphics that they needed, like the images of the televisions and source devices and that kind of thing. They designed those graphics on their own in pizza sauce coloring. And when the iOS device here is not in use as a control system, you see it acts as signage uh, with a nice logo and the client cannot argue with that. So you may be wondering what's next for you. <clears throat> so here's, here's what you're gonna do. If you are wanting to stop at the C1 system specification and sales certification level, then just go ahead and click the exam link icon right next to this video training link uh, that you've selected here. Take that exam, pass with an 80% or higher, and you are done. Congratulations and thank you very much. If you wish to continue, we're gonna get into programming and installation next for your C1 Plus programming and installation. You're gonna take the exam for sales and system specification because you'll the more paper you have, the better, of course. And please continue viewing with the next videos there. And there'll be another exam at the end of those videos. For C2, of course, you just continue on through, and C3 as well, Programming Pro. Keep on viewing, keep on taking the exams, and if you have any questions, you just send them over to training at keydigital.com.